This is Steve Pope. I want to welcome everyone to the uh, Clinical Research Regulations class. If you're listening to this and reading this right now, I would take it that you're already registered and you've gotten that part of it already completed. Many of you uh, have uh, are in the process of completing the data management class, so that's great. So we're glad to have you in the regulations class. A couple of things to do uh, as you get started. I want you to read through this PowerPoint presentation. There's only three slides here to get started with. Uh, first thing, make sure you purchase the textbook. It's very important because many of the articles and readings that we're going to do in the course are going to be taken from that textbook. So you're going to have to have that. Um, if you're having any difficulty uh, getting a copy of it, let me know. Um, but you should find it freely available. Well, not freely available, but readily available on Amazon as well as other sources. Take a look at Blackboard. Spend some time getting yourself oriented with it. Most of you are familiar with Blackboard. We did use it in the data management class and we'll be using it 100% uh, in this regulations class. If you'll notice on the left hand side, you'll see the getting started tab. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, you'll find three documents for you to take a look at. The first one is very cleverly titled getting started. Read that first. It'll have some helpful comments and tips about how the course is oriented and what you should do in order to participate and get the most out of your participation. If you have any questions about it, certainly uh, post it on the, uh, on the discussion board. There is a section on there where you can post questions for me. Uh, that way all of the students can see those questions and more importantly, they can see the answers. Uh, if there's anything that they have of, of an individual nature, certainly uh, send me an email uh, directly. And that will be fine. Uh, the second document that you'll find on there are, is going to discuss the two projects that you'll do during the course of the, of the course. Um, I think you'll find them to be interesting. Neither one will take you longer than probably maybe two to three, maybe four hours to complete. They won't take very long. Uh, but I think they will enhance your learning. Uh, in this class. Uh, then lastly, uh, take a look at the syllabus. Uh, in particular, read through the course outline, which is at the end of the syllabus. Uh, it will offer details on what we're going to do each week. And it will also give you an idea of the, the readings that are coming up that you'll need to participate in, uh, as well as other items when they're, when they're due. So go ahead and take a look at that. And if there are questions that you have, post them to the uh, discussion board so that everybody can see them. Uh, then if you have a question specifically the, the, for me, um, you, you can always send me an email. But I, I do want you to, if you got a question that may pertain to the rest of the class, please post it on the discussion board. For your week one assignment, We've got a couple of reading items for you to participate in during the week. Um, first of all, I'd like you to read chapter one of entitled History of Regulations. This is taken from a book called A Horse Named Jim, which was actually published by the Duke Clinical Research Institute. In this chapter, it will give you a, a synopsis of all of the major legislative and regulatory issues and, and milestones that have occurred from way back as far as 1865 up to the current day that govern the use of pharmaceuticals and medical devices. So please uh, read through that. I think you'll find it to be very interesting. It's not a difficult read, um, but I do want you to be familiar with at least with the major pieces of, of legislation and, and regulation that govern our industry and how we operate. From the textbook, uh, read uh, the chapter on scandals and tragedies in research uh, of research with human participants. I think you'll find that uh, article to be very interesting. Uh, also, the uh, ethics and clinical research article uh, is written by Henry Beecher, which uh, is a milestone article in terms of ethics related to clinical research. Uh, and I think you'll enjoy it. 
Also, uh, racism and research will be very interesting, detailing some of the uh, some of the egregious uh, acts that have occurred in the past. There are going to be three historical documents in this first week uh, that we'll read: the Nuremberg Code, the Declaration of Helsinki, and the Belmont Report. These are milestone documents cataloging uh, ethics as they relate to clinical research. And those three documents, along with a few others, uh, make up the cornerstone or the basis for our current regulatory environment. So please read through them. I don't think you'll find them very difficult to read. Uh, you'll also see them a little later on as we go through good clinical practice and as we uh, participate, as you participate in one of your projects. So please take a look at that. Uh, and then look at the, um, the discussion board question. I think you'll find it to be uh, very straightforward. Uh, the discussion board this week, I'd like for you to introduce yourself to the class. Uh, as I said before, many of us know each other from the data management class, but there are going to be a few of us that are, that are new to this class. So please take time to introduce yourself to the class. And then also go ahead and post your response to um, the week one discussion board. Of course, that'll be on the discussion board section of Blackboard. If you have any questions, please post it to the, uh, to the instructor questions on Blackboard. And we'll look forward to having a good first week.